Welcome to Crafts with Caitlin. This channel has now turned into an art channel. Apparently. Um, but I am doing two pieces of art from my mom. She recently bought a condo here in Florida. Um, they're turning it into like a Disney Airbnb. Um, whenever they come to visit, they get to stay there. And then when they're not staying there, it's gonna be an Airbnb. So she is commissioning two pieces of art from yours truly. And they're gonna be like Mickey Mouse themed. I'm gonna take you along with me. Um, I've got some canvases, I've got some frames. And we're gonna go through the whole process because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I got you doing like some textured art on our canvas here and we're gonna make little Mickey Mouses. So I think I'm going to do the textured background with the smooth Mickey Mouse first and then I'll move on to textured Mickey smooth background. All right, so here I am spreading that plaster just all over the canvas. I started off with my small spatula, then I moved on to the big one because bigger is better. Am I right? <laughs> Anyways, um, so I am just moving that plaster all over this canvas, I'm really trying to get that textured look uh, that I want. We all know what plaster art looks like. It's been all over TikTok. It, it's not hard. I thought it was gonna be hard. Um, and so now I'm adding these styrofoam circles to kind of map out where I wanted this smoothness to go. And then I'm dragging my plaster knife all along where I want it to be smooth. I went back in with my circle to just kind of like make it smaller because the dimensions would have been weird. Um, but it really wasn't bad. I just scraped and I cleaned with my fingers. I had so much plaster under my fingernails, it was hilarious. And then I did the same for the ears. I got the putty knives and the plaster at Home Depot. I got the canvas, the frames, and the styrofoam at Hobby Lobby. I then went in with some water just to kind of clean up the edges. It was best to work with something wet um, just so it could kind of dilute it and dissolve it. And then I could go in and clean it up with a paper towel. Look at how artsy I am, so creative. So I do think I've got one done. Um, Easier than I thought. This stuff is really like loose and gummy. And I used all three of my different like trowels. Um, and then basically I used these styrofoam balls right here, or styrofoam discs to help map out the Mickey. I got everything at Hobby Lobby and Home Depot. Um, the plaster and the trowels are from Home Depot. The canvases, the styrofoam discs, those are from Hobby Lobby. Ah, now this one just needs to dry and we're gonna paint the whole thing white once it is completely dry. Okay, hi, we're back. Um, I'm gonna start on the second canvas. The other one is fully dry, but I still need to go pick up paint so I can paint it white. And it's essentially gonna be a reverse of the first one. So we're gonna do textured Mickey smooth background. I'm gonna attempt to kind of tape off where I want the Mickey Mouse so I can plaster the Mickey. Um, I'll be able to peel the tape off and kind of touch up any edges that need to be touched up. So I am mapping out where I'm going to tape off for this next section of plaster. I'm taping in very small sections to make my rounded edges. This was tedious, but I actually think it looks so cool once it all comes together. Okay, so the Mickey is taped off. Don't worry about the Sharpie, it's all gonna be painted over. Now we're gonna get to plastering. I've got my knives and I've got my plaster and we're gonna plaster the Mickey part and leave the outside um, smooth. All right. 
right, so that worked really, really well. I'm gonna let this dry a little more and then I'm gonna actually add more plaster just to make it more 3D. And then for reference, this is the other Mickey. That's like the smooth Mickey with the textured background. This one hasn't been painted, but you can really see all of that texture detail. And I went and put two coats of plaster on this one too, to really make sure that you could see that three dimensional cutout. So we are gonna let this dry for a bit and then I'll come back and add a little bit more plaster to it. Um, the other Mickey took about a day to dry, so I'll probably get to painting tomorrow or end of the day. All right, we are painted, we are gonna dry, and then it's time to frame. Okay, this fly has actually been in my face for about an hour, but this is what we're looking like. As you can see, um, it's still quite textured. The white just helped to make it a little bit more minimalistic. Looks really good so far. So now we are gluing the canvas into the frame. I used my wood glue. I went along the inside edge of this frame and put the canvas into the frame. They fit perfect. I don't know how, it just worked. It's the end of the day, the glue is dry. It's time for the grand reveal. All right, y'all. This is the finished product. We're in frames, signatures on. I think they came out so good. They're quite large. Um, they feel super high quality. And these are made with like super cheap materials. So let me know which team you are. Are you team textured background smooth, Mickey? or Team Textured Mickey Smooth Background. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of loving Textured Mickey here, but this was the original concept, so I, I can't diss my original concept right here. She came after, she was the OG. Anyways, thank you guys so much for following along. Let me know what you wanna see next.